I shared with y'all on my last story time that I got my engagement ring back. Several of you wanted to see it. Um, it is now my forever, forever ring. But um, it was it was amazing, and just watching God restore things, relationships, items, little by little, one day at a time, over the course of the past two and a half years, has been absolutely incredible to watch. There have been some gut wrenching things, circumstances to watch as well because not everything has been restored. Not every relationship has been restored. And some of that is um, very painful. It's emotional and it's hard because we want everything to be fixed at once. But everything didn't fall apart overnight and everything's not going to be fixed overnight. And we are just trusting that God's going to restore every relationship that matters in his time. We are clinging to his promises. We're clinging to his word because we have seen what he has done as far as restoring relationships and restoring peace and families. And it's hard not to trust him when you, when you see it. So, you know, I, I had mentioned that my mom, or at least in other videos on her TikTok, um, she wasn't very fond of my son's father. Um, nobody was really. Um, my oldest brother in particular absolutely loved him when we first met. He had known him before I knew him. They're the same age. They went to school together. They grew up together. And, you know, when we got engaged, one thing my oldest brother told me was, if anybody can marry you, it's him. And those were his words. And all these years later, those words came to pass. But also, during this time, my oldest brother wasn't talking to him. And so I never, you know, I wasn't going to put my brother in a situation where he had to be around my son's father if it was gonna make him uncomfortable. So God had already restored so much with my family. I wasn't going to allow anything else to destroy what God had already restored. So I knew in God's time that he would come around. So I invited my oldest brother to my son's ball game and I was so nervous because I did not tell him that my son's father was going to be there. Um, he knew, you know, that if I'm there, my son's father's going to be there. But um, I was so nervous. But at this point, you know, that we, we were a package deal. So he just, he had to accept that. And I will never forget as my husband and I were sitting in the bleachers, my brother walking up and my heart was beating 90 miles per hour. It's probably about to beat out of my chest. He spoke to me and then he held his hand out and shook my son's father's hands and asked how he was doing. And I, I probably had tears like about to explode because I wasn't going to cry in public, but that moment was so significant because there were still relationships that God hadn't restored, but that was huge. And I remember when we left that ball game, I said, I don't know if you realize the miracle that just took place. He said, well, your brother had to speak to me. I said, no, he didn't. He chose to speak to you. He wanted to speak to you. And that's just one example of a relationship that God has restored. And so if you are in a season where you may be on the outs with someone, Trust that God is going to restore that relationship. You continue to do right, and I promise that relationships will be restored. If you continue in pride or who's right, who's wrong, who did what, then relationships won't be restored. But when you let go and you see God moving in the lives of those around you, then move on. Let go of the past, move on, 
and watch God do amazing things. I'm so thankful that my oldest brother was able to let go. You know, he had a lot of reason to resent my son's father, but he watched him and he didn't hold on to the past. He let go and now they have a relationship. Let go and watch God.